All right, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Aura Divine Tarot. My name is Brittany and I'm here to do a January predictions for you. Now, I just want to say the energy is fluid. It's always changing. So uh, this could resonate a lot or a little or not even. So it's it's up to how you interpret it. But I'm going to try my best here and we're going to we're going to see. <laughs> I have the three piles for you today. I always want to touch this mushroom. So <laughs> um, we do have the witch's tarot with this pretty little angel. Oops, <laughs> she doesn't want to lay there. Um, we have the pink deck from Dark Forest Tarot off of Etsy. The link is down below with the Kunzite. And then, of course, we have the mushroom with the mermaid tarot. So, yeah, if you want to pause and take a second to um, meditate on the piles, see which one calls the most uh, uh, calls out to you the most. And uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to jump into it. All right. So, yeah, I'll see you at your pile. All right. Hello, pile one. The, you chose the little green angel here. I'm unsure of what kind of stone this is. It was in a mixed bag, so <laughs> it didn't tell me. So um, we're going to put her or him right here, however you would like to identify that as. So we're going to get into the tarot, and then we're going to pull some oracles. And yeah, we're just going to see what 2023 has for you. Starting with January. <laughs> um, if you like this, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. If not, totally fine. If it resonated, I would love to uh, to hear in the comments. So we'll get started right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got the Knight of Swords. Okay, so some com communications coming in for somebody. You got the Three of Cups, of course, celebrating. And Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. So um, Pile One, oh, oh, if you've been single for quite some time and you've been like, where's my person? <laughs> um, you got the Lovers on the back of the deck here. Plus, you got the Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups. Like, this is wish fulfillment energy. So, um this might happen uh, when you're out with friends. This could happen when you're just like in your element, kind of, you know, you're having a great time. Three of Cups of Celebration. You can, or just, you know, a lot of drinking if that's what you do. If not, that's totally fine. Something along the lines of that. Whatever you enjoy, you're going to be, you're going to be thriving. And this person's going to come rushing in like recklessly, let me say. <laughs> could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but doesn't have to. Um, they're just going to be rushing in and just tell you how they feel. So I hope that's the case for you, if that's what you're wanting. <laughs> um, but yeah, the lovers on the back here, that's a Gemini card, by the way. So it could, could be someone coming in, but wish fulfillment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's pretty straightforward. I am going to clarify with my, um, trusty Rider weight. We're going to see. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Ooh, of course. Okay, okay, Nine of Cups twice. I'm pretty sure that's someone you've wanted for a long time. Uh, could be a twin flame. That does if For who, for those who are, are on that journey, for sure. If not, that's totally fine. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like this person has been defensive in the past. Like, um, they've been the runner and you've been the chaser. And then you were like, mm, nope, done. If they want to be in my life, they're going to be in my life. So, um, yeah, wish fulfillment. <laughs> Them coming in and talking to you, like sending you a message, something. It, it's it's a wish fulfillment. You've wanted this for a long time. So why is the three of cups here? The hermit. Okay, so you've been in hermit mode for a while. <laughs> Just keeping to yourself, protecting your energy, going through the motions. But when it comes to going out... Like, it's like, oh my gosh, we haven't seen pile one in a hot minute. And like, it <laughs> glow up energy. That's what I heard. Like you were, you were in your, you were glowing up. Like you were working on things. You were working on your fitness, working on everything. Like your shadow side, like maybe you went through a dark night of the soul and like it, you finally realized like, what do you want from what you, sorry, what you want from life currently recording this and it's mercury retrograde. So please bear with me <laughs> as tarot readers are trying to fight through it. <clears throat> 
Um, but this is Virgo energy too. You you could be a Virgo or, you know, however that resonates. But everybody's been in hermit mode at one point or another. And you're going to be emerging. And yeah, this <laughs> it's going to be a good time. You're going to have a good time. Uh, let's see. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Oh. So Page of Swords. And the Two of Wands. Ooh. So you could be traveling. You could be setting forth for uh, a new adventure. You could be um, starting to go down a different path. Maybe. Um, I just heard redirecting. Redirecting. Like, you know, like on, on the GPS. It's just when you take a wrong turn, it's like redirecting, redirecting. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Maybe that's the kind of energy you've been doing. Maybe you've been... Um, lurking online maybe you've been cyber stalking your person hey no shame we all do it but um with the page of swords that's somebody who's been lurking on yours and maybe you finally called the culprit but I'll, i'm also seeing this as uh i don't know you you've been spying on other people's lives and going like oh i wish maybe i should set out to do that maybe it's um traveling travel blogs maybe you want to do that um maybe it's, it's something else you just want to go on an adventure and you're like, screw it, let's just go. And you want to, <laughs> maybe, maybe this person coming in is so down for that and just, you guys go. On the back of the deck, you do have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is divine timing. This is karma, good karma coming in. This is good luck when it's upright. And um, we have the fixed signs here. So Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. So you could have those placements or your person could, but I feel like it's significant. So, let's see here. What else can I pull for you? Uh, let's see. What else is happening for my pile one people in the month of January 2023? What else is happening? Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. So, I just want to warn you, if you are not trying to have a baby... Um, the Empress is all about fertility. So this is the back of the deck energy. This is what's to come. Um, if you were not trying to have a baby, maybe you should um, take other precautions, like <laughs> take more precautions, if you will. If not, this is a wonderful sign. If you've been trying to have trying to conceive for a while. That's perfect. I love that. Uh, let's see. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So we're going to go with this page of cups. Okay. Younger water sign energy could just be friends. Just friendly. <laughs> um, making a friend. This gives me Pisces energy. Like, look at that little Pisces. Hi, Pisces. <laughs> um, let's see. We have the hangman. That's also Pisces energy. But then we have the sun. And then we have the ten of swords, queen of pentacles, and the moon. Okay. Okay. So with this, I feel like getting together with friends is the main point like you've been in hermit mode for quite a while isolating yourself and that i think this is spirit telling you like hey okay you had your time we we want you to get out and about and like be with the people that matter to you the most you know maybe even making new friends that's awesome <laughs> but also don't don't worry about no that's not the words i'm sorry mercury oh uh, uh, with the hanged man here, it's uh, don't be afraid to stop and just take a minute to think things through. Um, don't make any huge decisions, especially until um, <laughs> Mercury retrograde is is over on the 18th of January. Um, <laughs> sit tight for a minute before before you set out on onto your venture there. It might not be fruitful. Um, but you are following your path to happiness here the sun is like the happiest card in tarot so i feel like your things are finally going to click for you after like being 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 on your own here like in hermit mode you can't just it's going to become clear the fog is going to lift now um i do see the ten of swords energy so an ending is coming of some sort but it's it's, it's going to be good because look on the horizon. There's the sun. 
and the sun's over here. So you're going to end a cycle. It's it, maybe you already feel like it's coming to an end, like right now. And it's going to feel it's going to feel relieving. <clears throat> Like, honestly, like you're going to feel so relieved. Like, how do I put this? Um, You know how um, extroverted introverts, like sometimes, you know, being hermit mode recharges you, but then also sometimes being in a crowd recharges you. It's kind of 50-50. I feel like you've gotten one part of your recharge. Now you need to get the other one with friendship, with going out and about with people. Sorry, I just got another download. Um, With the Queen of Pentacles here, it could be a feminine earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. That could be significant. Or maybe this is just you and your generous vibes. Um, You're going to be... I don't know, maybe you're the one buying drinks for everyone. You're like, whoa, I'm here to party. Let's go. <laughs> um, but I think socializing more is definitely the the biggest thing. And you're going to be generous of your time, too. That's what I just heard. Now, you do have the moon here. So it's time to tap into your, to your intuition um, when it comes to setting out towards your happiness like (laughs) your dreams need a practical plan that's what I just heard and I wouldn't be surprised if you got that card when we do the oracles in a bit here but with the moon it's also something has yet to be revealed so maybe if you've been I don't know getting strange gut feelings that something's not right but you don't know what it is regarding this happiness regarding this this traveling regarding (laughs) your wish fulfillment um maybe just wait it out and listen to your intuition first before setting out to do so but whatever whatever's meant for you in this life the universe will not take it away like they'll find another way to get it to you and i just saw 11 11 on my uh, camera timer so ooh. (laughs) And that was, that's a, that's a true message right there. <laughs> um, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, what else can I pull for you? Hmm. I just heard you're going to be falling in love with life again. Like you're not, it, it, I, I heard it's, it's been quite hard for you and that's why you've shut yourself down. And like locked yourself in your in your home, like away from everyone, you know, hissing at the sun. <laughs> I'm not saying you do that, but you know, it's, it's a vibe. Um, I feel like that was part of your healing, and now you've you're ready to emerge, kind of thing. And you're gonna you're gonna love experiences again. Like you're gonna you're gonna be that yes person. Like yes, let's go do this. Let's go do that. But like I said, with the moon here, you might want to take a beat and uh, <laughs> and think things through a little bit. Yeah, use some of this um, hanged man energy. Ooh. All right. So I'm going to pull you some advice. Actually, we're going to pull for you from the tea leaf oracles. We're going to see what we have for my pile one people for the month of January 2023. What do we got? Oh, okay. So we got casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be a death, but if that's the case, I apologize and I send my condolences. I'm very sorry. Um, But this could also mean ending of toxic friendships. Maybe that's why you didn't go out all the time. You just, you needed a new friend group and you'll find them. Um, You have butterfly change for the better. That's amazing. I love that. Uh, Let's see. What else do we got for my pile one people? Okay. Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. Maybe that's how you've been. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. New friendships. What was I talking about? And wall. Misunderstanding. Now on the back of the deck, you do have new job or career so you could be stepping into a new job here or like maybe your dream job maybe this is opening doors maybe these new people coming in they'll help you 
they'll they'll help open some doors maybe like um maybe their company like the company they work for or maybe it's a small business you wanted to be a part of any any way that works um you could be getting a job offer and that's amazing um see on the and underneath that is nest an emotionally secure loving family is important to you i feel like you're building towards that you could be meeting the person you end up with like uh the person you marry if you are not married right now if you are single if you are you know i feel like this is going to be really nice for you it's going to be a different change of pace for once and like your luck is changing that's what i just heard oh my gosh pile one <laughs> Um, I also want to bring it back to the Empress. The Empress doesn't always mean having children. It's more like um, bringing an idea to life, like birthing an idea. <laughs> um, but actually going through with it and giving it life, like say, oh, I wanted to start a YouTube channel or I want to start um, building my own website, whatever, for whatever you do, like the, turn the side hustle into the main hustle, you know? Maybe that's what you're doing as well. That's what you've been doing in your hermit mode. Just, you know, doing things at home, keeping to yourself. But I feel like now this is spirit saying, you have what it takes. Bring it to life. Give it more life. <laughs> um, Let's see. What other? Oh, I'm going to pull you some advice from the Moonology dog. So... What do we have for my lovely pile one people for the month of January? <clears throat> you got full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tension. It it might be a little struggle bus. And of course, like with this card here, that's never easy. But you'll get through. Okay. Allow yourself to feel the feelings and push on through. Let's see. What else do we have for my pile one people? <clears throat> First quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. Yes. Yes. And then on the back, keep your heart open. First quarter moon in Libra. Yeah, don't completely shut down if that's if that's what you feel like you're you're about to do. Um just take things day by day, minute by minute, okay? It's it doesn't have to be figured out right away. It'll come to you when it's meant to. That's what I just heard. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to pull you some more from this one. What else do we have from my pile one people? What else do we have from my pile one people? <laughs> Doesn't want to talk today. What advice do you have from my pile one people for the month of January 2023 no okay <laughs> the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini that could be a time frame um it may be not the full moon I don't know if the next full moon's in Gemini I don't believe so um but the Gemini moon coming up might be when you get the certain answers you are needing so if if you're racking your brain trying to think of what what do I do what do I do what do I do if you're if you're stumped when you're in this Pisces energy um the hanged man just trying to gain different pers different perspective yeah the answers you need are coming if it, if it's <laughs> I would say if you want to talk to your angels absolutely or whatever you believe in spare guides anything <clears throat> just say I I would love some help with this please <laughs> And, you know, they do come through. They come through. Maybe not immediately, but they will. And on the back of the deck, you have expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Yes. A powerful change is coming to you in January. Okay? Like, this is like a ba-bam. Like, <laughs> I just, I, I got a vision of fireworks. Like, things are going to pop off for you in the best way possible. Yes, it's clearing old energy. Energy that's no longer serving you. But you are going to be emerging as a brand new, like, version of you. Like, People are going to be so happy to see you again. Like, they're <laughs> those who matter don't mind, and those who mind don't matter. Just keep that in your in your head, okay? But change is coming. Like, this is this is great. <laughs> I'm excited for you, pile one. Okay, what? 
energy should pile one be embodying buffalo spirit abundant universe will provide yes number 10 if you if you've been seeing like angel number 10 10 if you've been um i don't know maybe tens are important to you uh, somebody's born in october um <laughs> in the 10th of october um I don't know, but Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Yes, if you start manifesting, like if you start um, asking the universe or saying, universe, I want this X, Y, Z, and you write it down, you manifest it, and it, it it's coming to you. Maybe these are old manifestations that you were like, oh, the universe forgot about that. I, maybe I should go a different direction. No, 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 no. It's coming. It's coming. And then on the back of the deck, you do have number 31, Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. So let go of what no longer serves you. Past connections in your life. Um, I just heard, feel what you need to and then throw it all away. Like not like all the bad stuff. Throw all the bad stuff away. It's not serving you. Okay. Anything else? Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to find my decks. They kind of got all over the place here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to do this for the piles. I did. The, I used to do this for the uh, Zodiac readings, but if you have a specific yes or no question, now would be the time to ask it. I'm just going to shuffle a deck and you can pause. And then when you're ready to ask the question, I will do that <laughs> all right so you can pause the video now think of your question and unpause because i'm going to start shuffling so what is the answer to pile one's question mm. okay you got yes and perfect timing and on the back of the deck, you got success so whatever your question was this is an astounding yes in perfect timing and there will be success okay so that's everything i have for you pile one i hope that resonated and um come back and let me know if it did and uh yeah i am still open for personal readings it's just been a little struggle bus lately so <laughs> a lot of y'all coming in so um Let's see. Uh, my email is oradivinetarot222 two 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 at gmail.com. It is down below. And I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if this resonated. If not, that's totally fine. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I hope you're having a great day or night whenever you are watching. And I hope to see you soon. All right. Bye, pile one. Hello, Pile 2. How are you? This is your reading for um, January 2023 predictions. Like I said at the beginning, it's it's <laughs> it's general. So um, not everything's going to resonate. And um, if it does, I would love to hear about it. <laughs> Sorry, Mercury retrogrades got my tongue. So um, yeah, you chose the pink deck from Dark Forest Tarot. It's on Etsy. The link is down below. And then you chose the Kunzite. So this is all about self-love. So we're going to tuck that in next to the angel there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to shuffle. We're going to see here. Ooh. Ooh. I can't do the bridge, especially with these nails. <laughs> so please bear with me. <laughs> All right, so what do we got for my pile two people for the month of January 2023? What's happened for them? Oh, you got six of pentacles. Okay, okay. So you could be on the receiving end of some generosity. I just saw one, one, one on the camera timer. So um, <laughs> uh, I want to say that's like um, investors. So somebody could be investing in something you're doing. And it's, it's something you've been, been waiting for, something you've been trying to manifest. Um, maybe you needed help with a startup project. Um, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to put that. It, it's going to resonate for those who, if you know, you know. If not, that's totally fine. Um, this is equal give and take as well. Um, Six of Pentacles. Ugh, I love this card. <laughs> it's always popped out when I absolutely needed it. And um, it, it's been true for me. So... 
when it comes to the six of pentacles, you're either going to be the one on the receiving end or you are going to be <laughs> you're going to be the one that that's given what needs to be I dropped a card. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So we're going to reshuffle here. So what else? Oh, justice. Okay. So if you are in a legal issue, justice upright, things will go in your favor. But um, I don't know. You're going to be getting some justice though. Like <laughs> things are finally going to start looking up for you. That's what I heard. Um, it, you, you've, it seems like you've been in the dark and in a rough spot for quite some time. But this is uh this is things turning in your favor. Sorry. <laughs> oh, like I said, Mercury retrogrades got my tongue. So please bear with me. <laughs> I really hope these messages get out. <laughs> um, let's see. What else do we have for my pile two people for January 2023? Ooh, you got the two of wands. This was in the last pile too. So if um you felt called to watch pile one for sure. If not, this is different though. This is this is along the along some uh, different lines here. On the back of the deck, you do have the nine of swords. So there is anxiety and despair. Maybe it's like a I don't know self doubt. That's what I heard. Because, you know, starting off on journeys can be hard. Setting out on a different path can be so difficult, especially when it's something you've never done before, right? <laughs> like, um, I'm thinking this is a unique case where it's like, um, you're a trailblazer and like you could be a life path one. I did see the 111 on the, uh, the camera timer. So you could be blazing the trail that nobody's ever done before. You could be venturing on to like, um, it could be a career choice. It could be, um, I don't know, just living life how you want to, or just figuring out different ways to do things. It, like, <laughs> and other people are going to be judgy, of course. Like, that's all this world does is just be judgy. But you're going to be blazing the trail. Like, you are going to be charging forward. You're going to be going for it. And I love that for you. And things are going to be working in your favor. Maybe you, um, this is only going to resonate for a handful of you. Uh, with justice here, maybe I just heard patent, something to do with somebody's patent. Um, maybe it was copyright infringement that you're dealing with or like, I don't know, some big companies like coming after you like, Hey, that was our idea. And you're like, mm, no, I have what I need. <laughs> I have all the paperwork right here. This is mine. So, um, maybe before you set out with a new invention, a new idea, start doing some research before you, um, venture down that road. But I feel like my people that who this is for that 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 little message here um you already got it all together and it'll be going in your favor i feel like you're going to be winning a decent settlement and um yeah <laughs> i think things are going to be going going well for you but it's it's yeah the anxiety and despair oh and you got the two of cups underneath that okay so good things are coming good things are coming two of cups doesn't necessarily have to be lovey-dovey but i'm pretty sure this is like a meeting of the souls like you're gonna be meeting like maybe a mentor maybe like I don't know maybe you are gonna fall in love when you go down this path and it's gonna you're gonna attract exactly what you need I love that oh and the tower underneath okay so it's gonna shake up some foundations but with what the tower is on in the in uh the rider weight it's a shaky foundation so it was meant to come down anyways it wasn't stable you're gonna be building more stable foundations through this whole venture okay so i'm gonna pull some clarity why is the six of pentacles here oh temperance it could be a sagittarius um that's what the temperance card represents um sagittarius energy but it doesn't have to be it's um finding the balance um waiting for things to even out kind of deal but it is divinely guided. You are meant to go down this path no matter how hard it seems. <laughs> That's what I heard. Uh, let's see. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? Ace of Swords. Okay. Okay. You're going to have an epiphany when it comes to this as well. Let's see. Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Oh. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so you got judgment. Okay, rising up to the occasion. Um, reaping your soul's karma. You got ten of cups. This this going down this venture here, like going down down that path, setting out on your new new adventure, ten of cups. That is happiness. That is your happily ever after. Like this is what you've always dreamed of. And then you got the six of pentacles again. So it's equal give and take. It's like generosity. Like you, <laughs> when you are doing exactly what the universe needs you to do on your, on your soul's journey, when you're on the right path, the universe blesses you. And I feel like it's going to be blessing you here, giving you what you need. You go through the motions. You, you <laughs> oh God, I just got all giddy. Okay, so when I get giddy in a reading, it's more of like a, oh my God, you don't know, you don't know what's to come. I'm so excited. There's a huge surprise coming for you and it's a good surprise. Um, Yeah, you're good. <laughs> the universe is going to bless the hell out of you. I love it. On the back of the deck, you do have the star. So that's healing energy. So, um, yeah, and you, I also heard, like, you were going to be the star. Like, you might um, skyrocket into fame. Like, your 10th house might be blowing up. Um, that might be what the, the 10 here is for. But y you're going to be, you're going to feel like, oh, why didn't I do this sooner kind of thing. Like, it, it's all going to fall into place. That's what I heard. Okay, so I'm going to pull for you some oracles. We're going to see. Um, what do my pile two people have happening for them in January, 2023? Okay. That was easy. <laughs> you got a whole dump here. So, um, on the back of the deck, you do have older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman. Uh, this could be what sets things in motion for you. Um, could be an older feminine energy doesn't necessarily have to be female biologically. So we got seahorse family matters. Okay. We have angel spiritual guidance protection from harm. Yes. Yes. I see you as divinely guided. Like the, you were protected from a whole bunch of stuff happening. <laughs> Your angels have got you. Um, you got coins, money will be coming to you. You got the six of pentacles twice. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's apparent. <laughs> you got dog barking advice from a friend. Okay. V victory in some endeavor with the justice card there. You have carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. You do have April. You could be born in April or, um, maybe this sets things in motion for, um, like the, the happenings in January could set things in motion for um, a big surprise in April. That's what I that's what I heard. Or um, this older woman, this older feminine could be born in April. You take it how it resonates. Uh, fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. You could be a fire sign or have fire placements. Sun, happiness and well-being. Absolutely. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life in the best way possible and you also have older man dealings or relationship with an older man so older feminine and masculine energy maybe it could be bottled into one person or <laughs> you never know there are some people that are like even like masculine and feminine can, can just do both and just be mommy and daddy <laughs> you know what i mean um <laughs> let's see here mm. I'm going to pull for you some advice. This is exciting though. I'm so excited. Like, oh my gosh, I got so giddy. And like I said before, when I get giddy in a reading, it means like good things are happening. Like some big surprises coming. And I just saw 1111 on the camera timer. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, I love this so much for you. Um, Let's see. What else, what advice do you have for my pile two people for the month of January? First quarter moon in Taurus, release control. Yeah, um, let go of what you cannot control. If there's like outcomes of things, like I said, with the, the legal issue, if that's what you're going through. Um, let go of what you cannot control because it's just going to stress you out and it's just going to lower your vibration. Just focus on what you can control and just see what happens. 
you know, you are protected. Like you've got angel here, spiritual guidance, protection from harm, like follow your gut. Your angels will send you messages, however they need you to see them and however they know you, re you recognize it. Let's see. What else do we have for my pile two people for advice? Ooh. Last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less, feel more. Okay. Yeah. Pay attention to how you're feeling when it comes to things. And on the back of the deck, you do have new moon and Aries. Go for it. So when you do feel called to go for it, go for it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to pull from this deck here. Let's see. Well, what do you got for my pile two people for the month of January 2023? What advice? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Okay, so right now this could be um, spirit saying, okay, really think through exactly what you want because we'll give it to you, but you have to know how <laughs> know exactly what you want from us, what you want from life, what what we can put together for you, <laughs> if you will. Um, we do have don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. So um, don't make it a prideful manifestation, but you know, just try to ground your dreams a bit. Don't you don't have to cut them all out, but you know, try writing down exactly what you want if you haven't already, or make a vision board. Okay, a realistic vision board. Like, how are you going to get there? What are the steps you're going to take to get there? Um. And whatever you cannot control, let the universe take over and orchestrate. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to see what what spirit should pile to embody for the month of January. Oh, a lot of it, apparently. <laughs> okay, let's see what you got here. Ooh. Ooh. So these wanted to pop out to um, focus on the positive new moon in Sagittarius. Yeah. And new moon in Gemini. Think it through. So that's going back to um, your dreams need a practical plan. Number 36, koi fish spirit. There is always enough. Absolutely. 28, frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. It could be physical. It could be like maybe uh, maybe you are cleaning out your house. <laughs> this could be spirit saying like you need like a spiritual cleanse you need a physical cleanse <laughs> um maybe even working on your diet i just saw 1444 uh that is definitely protection you are protected through this so however you nurture i just heard nurture yourself first and then you things will become more clear with in in, in due time on the back of the deck, you have number 18, Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. Yeah, just be gentle with yourself. Be kinder with the words you say to yourself and to others. I, I, I'm, this seems like a, uh, this seems like a situation where things have been rough for a little while and there was just no cease to the end. Like there was no, no end to the, there was no end to the anxiety and the despair with every it seemed like everything was going wrong you're like oh my god i'm getting sued i'm getting all this and i'm like uh <laughs> and spirit's like you know what hey you had to go through this we had to scare you a little bit but we got you things are going in your favor and these people are garbage and they can go <laughs> you are protected for sure like uh, it's like a giant hand protecting you you're you're like right here and you're like, this is like spirit just like phew. And all of these outside forces are trying to attack and then they're out of ammo and then spirits just like you are healed and you can just go boom. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope that resonated. I don't know how to put things into words right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, let's see what else I can pull for you. Ooh. Okay. So I did this with the last pile. But um, we're going to see uh, if you have a burning question, I'm just going to we're going to leave it at one. <laughs> um, you can pause the video. I'm going to start shuffling in just a second here. Um, you can pause the video. Think of your question and unpause when I'm shuffling and let it go. All right. We're going to see. I'm going to see if I can answer it. So you can pause right now. I'm going to start shuffling. 
So what is the answer to pile two's question? Okay. No need to worry. And then on the back of the deck, ooh, maybe I can keep that up here. There we go. Get more information. All right. So um, that's everything I have for you, pile two. If this resonated uh, even a little bit, <laughs> I would appreciate a like and subscribe or a comment. That's up to you. If not, that's totally fine. It's all good. Um, I am open for personal readings. My email is down below and I look forward to hearing from you. All right. So I hope you're having a lovely day or night whenever you are watching and I hope to see you soon. All right. Bye pile two. All right. Hello, pile three. I almost called you pile one. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Mercury retrograde has my tongue. So please bear with me. That's why I only did three piles today. Um, oh my gosh. But you did uh, choose the little green um, mushroom here. He's my favorite. <laughs> he just doesn't want to stay. He just wants to roll. And <laughs> yep. <laughs> Accurate. That's the vibe. Okay. So I'm going to put that over here. We're going to. Oh, we knocked over the angel. Uh oh. <laughs> struggle bus. Might be feeling struggle bus for you, but you did choose the <laughs> mermaid tarot. So we're going to jump into it. So we're going to see. I'm going to shuffle. Shuffle your cards here for ya. I can't do the bridge in these nails because of course not. Why would I be able to do that? <laughs> Other tarot readers might be able to, but my fingers are like, no girl, let's not. <laughs> okay, so what's happening for my pile three people for the month of January 2023? Ooh. Okay, so you got the star. So healing energy. Love that. Having faith. That things are going to work out I like that. What else do we have for my pile three people? You have page of swords. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see what's on the back here. So. Got the page of cups. And what else do we have? One more shuffle because that was a lot of cards. What else do we have? Okay. 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 So you got the six of pentacles as well. The six of pentacles has been showing up a lot here. So <laughs> if you felt drawn to pile two or even pile one, I think, I think they had six of pentacles as well. Um, yeah, we're going to see. Uh, no, actually it was only pile two. Right. <laughs> if you felt Paul called, <laughs> wow, called to pile two, <laughs> be sure to check that out. Um, on the back of the deck, you do have King of Wands energy. Fierce leader. Love that. So let's see here. I'm going to get some clarity here before I start. But I feel like um, seeing as you got the four swords here, I feel feel like it needs to be said that you need to take some rest. Like you need the, the, the holidays are almost over. Um, you can just simmer down and just be calm for a bit. You need the rest because your, your mental energy needs it, your physical energy, um, everything. So we're going to see, I'm going to get some clarity here. So why is the star here? Why is the star here for my pile three people? Ooh. Death and Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. So rebirth energy. Um, And we got the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe it could have something to do with family. Or it could be um reworking what you want in a stable family life. Like what you're working towards. I just saw 333 three, three on the camera timer. So this could be like extra confirmation. But I feel like it's changing changing your mindset on what you want to happen like changing how you're going to go about things in order to achieve this ten of pentacles or it could just be um healing family traumas healing family um family wounds you know maybe you're going to be the first one that's that's actually able to financially make it um 
maybe you're the first in your family to actually become super successful. And I love that. You got the King of Wands on the back of this this deck here. So this could be you embodying this energy. You don't have to be, be male by biologically. Uh, just a masculine energy could be embodying the the leader like you, your leadership qualities are going to be like ceo vibes like this is like oh love this <laughs> why is the uh, why is the page of swords here why is the page of swords here why is the page of swords here okay okay so you got knight of wands so with the page of swords that's usually my um online social media stalker you could be dealing with um somebody who was a one night stand or somebody who could potentially be you know doesn't have to be that way but it could be someone um charging forward towards you that uh <laughs> has been watching you for a while or vice versa but i'm pretty sure they just want to attach on dear they could be an energy vampire that's the vibe that i got I just want to let you know I am clairsentient. So when I get gut feelings, um, I I listen to them when it comes to this stuff. So yeah, Page of Wands, it could be someone who's been watching you and your stories for quite some time. If you don't have your stuff locked, could be an ex. But like, I feel like this person is just like a coming in, may, maybe a fair weather friend. That's what I wanted to say. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic. Could just be a friend just going like, Hey, you've been popping off lately. You wanna hang out? You wanna they just wanna be an energy vampire. They're not gonna stick around for the long haul, okay? So why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here? Okay. You got the fool. Okay, so you could be, um, you could be taking a leap of faith. Like, oh, there's the little dog here, like loyal friend. Um, <laughs> you could be taking a leap of faith with a uh, with a loyal friend, because the page of cups is like friendly energy, like immature, like woo, <laughs> like let's just have fun. Um, could be a younger water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be, but um, yeah, taking a leap of faith towards them. It could be romantic if that's up to you, but um, when it comes to this, it's like a like a newer, fresh energy, <laughs> lighthearted. That's what I just heard. And you're jumping on in. You're like, mm, it could be this person, but I don't think so. I think this is somebody new. Uh, let's see. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Passionate new beginning. And it could be to do with your job or collaborating in general. Um, you could be receiving a grant. You could be receiving um, some money for this new beginning for this. Um, I feel like this is for work because like with the Three of Pentacles, it's collaboration. They're working on this project together. Um, you could have an invitation could be through this person actually like it could be like a business venture could be like hey i'm trying to do this thing and i i i'm currently doing it alone you're like oh okay um i have some ideas we could probably get this together and you're taking a leap of faith with this with this person here and you're just you're going for it so <laughs> uh january 2023 seems like a screw it let's do it kind of vibe but it's gonna work out gonna work out so why is the four swords here okay page of pentacles okay okay and then on the back of the deck you do have the high priestess so your intuition might strengthen during this time uh with the page of pentacles here could be calling you to um rest your wallet <laughs> that's what i heard um don't spend immaturely on things you could be tempted to and just like oh we need this this and this and of course like <laughs> i feel like this is like i just got another like giddy vibe so when i'm giddy it's like a big surprise coming like a good one but when it comes to this person like i feel like this person embodies that all the time just like i have so many ideas let's get them all tackled and then like <laughs> i don't know they could be like bouncing from one idea to another and like it, they also bounce on projects too um you need to like 
take some rest and maybe you, you've got to be the one to be like, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Yes, we were given this money to do this thing, but we don't need beanbag chairs. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I, take that how it resonates. I, I said beanbag chairs because it's like, oh, uh, we could have the, we could film this project. We need office space. We need, you know, and then this person's just like, yeah, we need beanbag chairs. Let's order them right now. And you're like, no, no, no. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. This money has to go towards other things. Do we have equipment? No, we, we don't need the beanbag chairs. <laughs> this is a spirit calling you to, um, Take some time to rest and think before making any big financial decisions when it comes to this um, passionate new beginning, this this work project, this, you know, <laughs> um, think things through better and start budgeting. That's what I heard, too. Don't be immature with your money. OK, I'm going to pull for you some tea leaves. So what do we have for pile three for January 2023? What do we have for pile three for January 2023? Okay. <laughs> On the back of the deck. Okay, this is exactly what I was talking about. Purse, pay attention to your finances. That could be spirit just warning you. Like, don't, don't, don't say yes to everything. <laughs> you know, the screw it energy is not, <laughs> not going to be fruitful if you just, you know, go spend crazy. So think of uh, the business expenses and whatnot. Like, try to have a rational brain about this. <laughs> Take time to rest and recoup before you, yeah, make any big decisions. Sleep on it kind of thing. You have table, hard work ahead. Yes, I see that. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. And I just saw 1111 on the camera timer. So the, yeah, <laughs> uh, you have sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. What was I talking about? You cannot make this up. <laughs> Grapes, time to go out and have fun. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters that could be regarding this person. You're like, mm -mm, we don't need that. Stay out of my energy. Desk, pay attention to your work. Yes, yes. And Quill, get back to the basics. So that would be like the budgeting I was just talking about. Um, that's incredible. Holy. <laughs> so it's going to be, it might be a little struggle, but see, like you're, you're healing, you know, you're... <laughs> You're finally figuring out what you want to do and how you want to get there and dealing with all the motions here. But yeah, this this page of cups here, younger water sign doesn't know it doesn't have to be, though. Um, they're going to be wide eyed and bushy tailed and they're ready to go for it. And you're like, OK, OK, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I got to think of the, the, the tangible stuff right now. I got to think of the actual problems we're going to face. <laughs> I feel like uh, you have to be like the logic brain and this person's going to be the <laughs> is going to be the the imagination, the uh, the creative brain, if you will. <laughs> Reminds me of my boyfriend and I. Um, he's logic brain and I'm creative brain. So, um, yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Here I am. But uh, we're going to pull for you some oracles. Let's see. So, what do we have for advice from my pile three people? Ooh, that was quick. Okay, so we have go wild, but in reverse. So I would say, yeah, just <laughs> um, think things through a bit more. You can go after things. Just don't don't go wild. Don't go crazy with it. Be the logic brain. Okay, like. <laughs> <laughs> maybe um I don't know maybe this is a either you are like logic brained and it could you may have this like gut feeling to just go for things and just take leaps of faith and just go for it you will be called to do that with this person but I don't think it's going to be like throughout the whole thing like you're going to have to like be strategic about things you can go wild within a sense you know <laughs> like like yeah, I guess you can't really go wild when you're fenced in. That's like a zoo. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Take that how it resonates. Like Mercury retrograde has my tongue. 
So we're going to see uh, what else do we have? Okay. Okay. So we have cool your emotions. Yeah, things might get a little tense. New full moon in Aries. Um, leave the past behind. Okay, so um, this is giving me like uh, if you've been down this road before, think of where things went wrong and fix those things. Um, doesn't have to be with, with this person. It could be with, with this person. Like you learned from this page of swords with the knight of wands. Um, somebody who just wanted your energy and wanted your money and you were like, mm, no, I want to build and grow. Um, yeah. Don't leave the past behind. Um, remember what they did to you. I saw, I just saw 1444. So, um, that is protection. That is, uh, divinely guarded. So I feel like I, I called to say like, forgive, but don't forget and move forward. And like I said, feels like you're going down the same path. No, you're going to, you're going to right the wrongs that you did before with this person. And you're going to go about it differently with this one. Uh, release control. Yeah. Whatever you cannot control, let it go. If you can control it, focus on what you can do. Talk less, feel more. Last quarter moon in Pisces. Yeah, take that how that resonates. On the back of the deck, you do have new moon and Aries. Go for it. Take that leap of faith, but also think about it. Okay, like just <laughs> don't go full force. Don't be like, don't be like a complete yes man or yes person. Um, but go for it, you know, like take that leap of faith, but think about things a little bit. I love this pile. Oh my gosh, you have to tell me what this is. Okay, I just want to know. <laughs> Um, what else do we have for my pile three people? Mm. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Okay, so this person could be aspecting your North Node too. Uh, let's see. What else do we have for my pile three people? What other advice? Nothing will come of this situation void, of course, moon. So nothing will come from your past relationships or past connections. Pardon me. <laughs> uh, maybe you tried to get this same project off the ground with a different person. <sighs> Pardon me. Sorry. Burping. <laughs> that's releasing negativity. Maybe that's what she got to do as well. But um, nothing will come of this situation if um, this past person comes in. That's what I heard. Um, yeah, you, you'll you know. Um, with the Page of Swords, it's, it's like a younger air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius doesn't have to be. Um, Knight of Wands is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. Eh, again, it could just be an energy vampire. Somebody who wants to like come on in and reap the rewards without doing any of the work. And you were doing all the work. And you know what? You shouldn't be the one doing all the work. So yeah. Um, on the back of the deck, you do have what do you need to release? This person. That's it. <laughs> That's the T. Okay. So now I'm going to pull for you animal spirits. So what animal spirits should Pile 3 embody for the month of January? Again. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So this one popped up in... Um, I, th I believe the last pile. I think so. Number 10, Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. Yes, 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 yes. Your manifestations are coming. Like this happiness is coming. This new venture. It's going to feel good. And you got the 10 of cups. Oh, no, you didn't. That was last pile. Sorry. Um, What was that card? Oh, you got the sunshine here. The sunrise. The sun is, this is representing the happiness, the, the, the sun card in tarot. Like this is the ultimate happiness. It is coming to you. I love that. <laughs> this, this new creative venture is going to be exactly what you've been looking for. Exactly what you've been on this rebirth energy. Like look at the sun on, on, on the horizon. You were going towards that as you were healing. Number 45, parrot spirit. Watch your words. Yes. Your thoughts and your everything you speak out into the universe manifests okay so keep that in mind the songs you sing everything everything you speak out into the universe that's what's going to come to you so and i would also say like as much as you want to tell people off 
uh, hold your tongue. We do have Mercury retrograde happening right now. So that could be why this person's coming on in and just like, hey, you know, all that crappy stuff I did to you. Forget about that. I'm better now. And you're like, that is a bold face lie. <laughs> you just want to reap the rewards and you don't want to do any of the work. No, bye bye. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> just fight them off. And you got on the back of the deck 68, one bad spirit, be at home, be at home with yourself, be at home with your decisions, be at home with like, I don't know, like start speaking your world into existence, like with, with the watch your words. Um, oh, oh, I want to circle back to this in just a second. Um, or circle back to this in just a second with watch your words. Um, don't say what you're going to do. With this new business venture, keep it hush hush as best as you can because other people are going to be uh, pining for it. Okay, that's what I just heard. So, uh, yeah, keep your secrets. <laughs> um, but back to this, the wombat spirit. Be at home. Be at home with yourself. Be at home with your decisions. Be at home with like you know. Like I said, back to um, speaking your world into existence. Speak your perfect world into existence. Be at home with your decisions. It, it'll make sense to you when it happens. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a little hard to hard to get right now, but it, it'll make sense to you when it does. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to pull for you angel answers. So you can ask one question. Uh, you can pause the video and think of it. And then when you're done, you can unpause and I'll start shuffling. And we'll see. What is the answer to pile three's question? You got your ready. Whatever you asked, you're ready. And on the back of the deck, you do have get more information. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I really hope that resonated. If not, that's totally fine. Um, I'm not expecting it to resonate right away because <laughs> it is... Um, well, it is New Year's Eve when I'm posting this. So uh, yeah, I hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching. I would appreciate a like and subscribe if you would like to. It's it's no big deal if you don't. It's all good. Um, and leave a comment down below because I'm really, really curious as to what's this, what this is. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, my email is down below. If you would like a personal reading, you can shoot me an email. It is first come first serve basis. So I've, if I don't reach out to you right away, uh, apologies, there are other people in, ahead of you. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope you're having a great day or night whenever you are watching and I hope to see you soon. All right. Bye pal three.